Hi guys and welcome to another Timbo Designs tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on um, a beginner's introduction to Photoshop pretty much. Um, this will have to go in a couple of parts. Um, it's pretty much just so you can um, get a feel your way around Photoshop if you're not that familiar with it. So first of all, we'll start by going through up the top here. Up in file, you've got, you can create a new document, open a document, browsing bridge. You can open up as, open up a smart object, open up recents, and list all your, some of your recent things there. Um, you can close all. Save for web and devices. Personally, myself, I only save for web and devices if it's something animated, or yeah, pretty much, pretty much just animated stuff. Anything else, I go save as. And another thing, I'll go over today: um, saving your project as a PDF so pretty much you can go back and when you op open it back up it'll have everything all you've done so you'll be able to edit it a lot easier um, images I normally save as PNG like so um, yeah but that's something I took no one ever told me that and it took me a long time to work out how to save a PSD even though it's yeah but that's that and then um, you've got import export automate it's got um, merged HDR pro and lens correction and all that sort of stuff your scripts print then you got all your edit you can transform so if you want to make this smaller or bigger and stuff like that um, check spelling you can fill or stroke and all other different there's there's a lot to it but um, yeah and these are your different um, color formats and whatnot RGB is the one to go for most of the time you can adjust the brightness contrast all different settings there just play around and see what you can come up with you can rotate image as shown there all different sorts of stuff and then your layers you can make a new layer which will come down over here um, you can background from a layer you can group your layers layer via a copy and so on your layer properties you come up layer two like that make pretty much yeah make a new layer um, layer mass you got your vector mass you convert to a smart object I've never really used that so I couldn't really go into depth with that but and your video layers and you can rasterize matting you can r remove black mat white mat um, you can select pretty much all your layers and like so and then you can go back and you can put a border say 10 like so and then you'd go over here to your Um, over to your tools and if you just go like so it gives you a border but yeah that's just but there's other things in the modify too that you can do as well um, your filters there's lots of different things down in your filters that you can use um, 3d 
view your window here that's pretty much anything that's marked you see here or there your help some all help with Photoshop there so if you do get stuck you can look there and tutorials and whatnot now over to your tools you've got your move tool so if I click on there I can move that to wherever I want it pretty much and if you're holding control you can move it very slightly like so you got your different marquee tools rectangle um, all them there your lasso tools pretty much they just wherever you draw they'll make a selection like that your magic wand tool and your quick selection tool crop now that's a and a slice tool there I use them quite a fair bit they're a handy tool to know you can sort of just go like that and crop that off this here is your eyedropper tool say you want that color right there you can click on it and it'll come down in your colors there I've never really used these other ones so I won't go into detail with them you've got your heel and brush tool and your patch tool your red eye tool good photos and stuff like that now your brushes you've got your brush tool your pencil tool color replacement tool mixer brush tool now if you click on your brush tool up here well up here if it's got the things and your current tool you can go here and you can load presets and stuff right there and here's all your different brushes the size of the brush the hardness you can make it harder or softer and these are your brushes good all different source there and to add new brushes just download them from various sites and you click on this little arrow and load brushes and it's pretty yeah it's pretty much that easy um, you got your clone tool and your client pattern uh, pattern stamp tool um, your history brush tool and your art history brush tool background eraser tool and eraser tool I use my background eraser tool quite often it's it's a good one you can sort of just click there and it'll get rid of the background like so you got your fill and gradient tool gradient tool you can come up here and you got your different gradients and to do the same thing you load gradients of this arrow here um, to add a gradient you sort of just drag in till you find it where you like it it's not sort of the color I like but anyway that just gives you an idea of how to use that tool it's gonna be a pain in the ass and yeah your fill tool that sort of just fills back in your background and you've got your blur tool sharpen and your smudge your smudge you use a lot for sigs and stuff like that for blending and stuff like that your dodge burn and I use them a lot for my lighting in my signatures and stuff like that uh, your pen tool very very good tool um, used to render and stuff like that uh, your text tool comes up here and you go through your different fonts what you want here I have regular or you can change that and your size and crisp sharp smooth strong you can bend it that there will make it go like that there's all different settings you can have it sort of like that and 
this here's your path selection tool and then here you have your rectangle rounded eclipse polygon line tool and custom tape tool and he, these here are your 3d rotate tools and most they're all 3d tools same as that one your camera tool this one's your hand tool and here you can this little arrow that goes like that you can change from the colors you have selected here or you can click double click on the color and this will come up you can sort of pick whatever color you want and then it'll come there so that's pretty much just a quick rundown for part one um, I'll come back with part two and we'll look at styles and stuff like that and all your blending options so yeah hope you've learned something it's not a hard tutorial learning just the just sort of people that are just starting out on Photoshop to get a feel for it find out where certain tools are and stuff like that all right well have a good day and I'll be back with part two see ya